The sounds of Afro jazz filled the air at the Milton Community Park last Friday and Saturday. The Afro jazz fest returned again for its second time, better than ever now that it's in person. Last year, the festival had to be virtual due to the pandemic. This year, though, revelers were able to come up close and personal with performers as they danced the evening away. Festival organizer Franklin Wellagy says Afro Jazz Fest was started to showcase Afro Caribbean culture in Halton region. We, we uh, noticed that something was missing in the Alton region. So something that can bring all the community together. From people coming from different countries, from Africa, from Caribbean, and also from the South uh, from Latino community. For those at the event, there was no shortage of things to do. We have activities for children. Uh, we have face painting. We have uh, um, uh, like... Uh, they will be making their own, uh, their own African jewelry and uh, also we will be having a dance, uh, dance class, uh, we have uh, drumming, we, we have um, um, a band coming from Haiti, uh, we also have a, a band uh, from Congo, they will be singing uh, rumba, I don't know if you know about rumba, but it's very popular in Africa, in Congo. The festival has seen support from all levels of government. Milton MP Adam Vancouverden came to the festival on its first night, while MPP Parm Gill sent his regards via a representative. Milton Mayor Gordon Kranz also paid a visit to the festival. He believes it's events like Afro Jazz Fest that showcase Milton's diversity. Understanding some of the cultures of some of the other countries, Melton is a very diversified community. It's even going to be greater. So I bought into that notion years and years ago. So that's the main reason why I'm here, to support different groups and organizations in this community. That's what makes it a great community is uh, festivals such as this, music and dance. While officials from three levels of government lent their support, Wallagy says more people and organizations were involved to make the festival become a reality. I also want to thank Canadian Heritage for the funding. I also want to thank uh, Ontario Art Council and also uh, all the community and all the organizations that uh, support us to put this together. As for the viability of the festival, Wallagy says... Uh, this is just the beginning. There is more to come. This is just the beginning. For Halton News in Milton, I'm Edward Jan.